Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we are finally back after two long weeks of not having a video. Wedding planning and actually having the wedding and getting to marry the love of my life was a blast. But things have started to settle down and we're getting back into the groove. And we are here today for a new episode. And today we're learning about a very cool creature for your tank. It is a sea hare. The one you're actually seeing is a Dolabella sea hare. Prices on them, you'll normally spend about 30 bucks for them. Tank size, it doesn't really matter. Care level, a lot of places I was seeing was saying that they were expert only, but really they're pretty easy to take care of. You know, for me, I'm going to say a moderate. Temper, they are a very peaceful cleanup crew guy to have. Reef compatible, yes, they will not mess with any corals. The worst they would do is walk past them and maybe knock them over. But other than that, you don't have to worry about him going and eating on them. None of that's going to happen. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.023 to 1.025. Make sure that salinity is nice and tight. You don't want it fluctuating big time. You want to give them a really nice acclimation whenever we get these guys in. I'm talking, we acclimate them for almost two hours. We take it really slow on them because too high of a jump, too quick of a jump, it can really hurt them. Max size, normally in your tank you'll see them get up to about 6 inches, is about as big as they'll get. But you can see some in the wild, they can be up to a foot long, they can be huge. Colors on them, you get this nice little coloration of brown, black, greens, and whites all mixed together. Diet, they are a herbivore. They are one of the best hair algae eaters you can get, really the best algae eaters you can get overall. Origin, they do come from the Philippines, and compatibility, just ask. If you want to base it off what cleanup crew you have now, he can pretty much go with anybody. No one really messes with them, and they don't mess with anybody else. But like I said, they are major hair algae eaters. If you have a big problem with that, they can get in there and clean it up within the week. The only problem with them is, is once they run out of hair algae, if they are not fed algae after that, then they will cause them to starve and they won't last much longer after that. A lot of times we have to take them out of people's tanks that had really bad hair algae and put them in another one because if it's just too clean for them, they didn't have anything to eat. You can feed them macro algae if you buy that or grow that down in your sump. You can throw that in there for them to eat. Or if you feed your tangs a lot of algae, they'll also eat that. So just if you want to keep them after the hair algae is all gone, just make sure you are giving him plenty of other algae to go after. Like I said, slow acclimation at the shop will do it for about two hours to make sure they're all good and the water's not going to shock them. Make sure you do have pristine water. You need it very clean for them. I've noticed whenever people have high nitrates, it can really hurt them. Do not use any copper-based medications. That'll also hurt them. You want to make sure you have plenty of live rock and a good amount of sand bed for them to go around. Normally, you'll see them either up under a cave in the shade eating a bunch of algae, or they'll be up in your sand bed eating algae up to the top of that. No, uh, I think that pretty much sums all that up. As a defense mechanism, they will spit out a toxic dye that can repel whoever is bothered them, like fish picking at them. So you want to make sure you have plenty of filtration in order to filter that out. But other than that, that pretty knocks, pretty much knocks out your sea hair. All the things you need to know. Hope you all have a good day. I'm glad to be back, and I will see y'all in a little while.